Hi there. So in this video, we will see how logging works in Android. So I have this simple application and I'm going to add one button. When we press that, it should generate log messages that we can read in our logcat or messages tab. Okay. So go to the text in your activity maximo and here you add button. Make it wrap content, then add ID, make it name as button one, then Android ID text, and let's say I want to use get log. Okay. So once we add that log, you can see the button here. Okay, it will refresh and show. Okay. Now inside main activity, we're gonna add that before that. Let me just use button button. Okay. And here I'm gonna use button equals to button then find view by id or id button one okay now let's have one action to button as set on click listener then new view on click listener and here public void on click view view and then inside I'm going to use different logs so let's start with log E which stands for error okay so your message here could be let's say this is error okay and if you want you can set the tag as error okay then next is log dot w okay what this will do is it will just trigger the warning so let's say this is warning and here we have this is warning and then you have your info so this is just going to be a info blurb and it's not a warning or error so it will just highlight this is info okay then you have log.t t stands for debug so when you are debugging your code and want to log specific debug message, then you make use of log.t. So let's just type this is debug. Then comes log.v stand for verbose. Okay, and here we're gonna use this is verbose. Okay. So these are the type of logs that you can use inside Android, starting from error, warning, info blurb, then debug, and then verbose. Okay, so info, warning, and errors are common one. As you can see, try and catch method can be used for our log.e, where you can point exact error, okay also info and warning can be used wherever you are unsure of something so that at that point you can use warning and info for just explaining what this specific method or functionality does okay so let's execute and find out how this logging works so i'm gonna get this 
up and check messages side then I'm gonna open my emulator and execute the code so when we actually click the button inside emulator it should generate the messages here okay so here you see emulator is showing me the app it should load the button now in between we can get our messages tab open so when our elements appear we can simply click on that and it should generate different type of warning or so as you can see the app is loaded and it is showing me the get log button I'm going to click on it and see what logs are generated okay so there is no action here because it was meant to collect the logs so let's check that out now to see the logs we go to Android monitor and here we can choose from log cats verbos mode okay so when you choose verbos mode it will show me that specific message okay so any message that's within verbos will be displayed here similarly debug message can be found here then info warning and error okay we didn't cover assertion so there are no assertion errors that will be listed otherwise when you run your code with specific log message those will be listed in android monitor then go to log cat and choose the type of message for your log okay be it debug info warn then that should be displayed here okay so the place to check is android monitor log cat and then choosing the type of log message